this is Tina from Shabby Jabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for a bit of a play around. I've just bought my frames along. Um, this is from my Victorian gallery kit and there's also a very similar page in the Victorian springtime. Um, but those frames are slightly more grungy looking than these. But I thought let's come along with these and I've also bought along my bright butterflies which I have printed two to a page. So let me just pull those in oops now I can't get them hold on a second oh gosh right which I've printed two to a page and so they are obviously smaller than you know than they typically were and I thought let's just have a play and make some little cute frames with the butterflies in them ready to use in other projects kind of later on so I'm just going to cut these down now I'm not sure actually which colours which colours I want to use so probably I'm thinking I'd want to use the brighter ones so that they show up really nicely on the frames so again please excuse this it's obviously done a wonky job um, when it was printing on the printer my printer just doesn't really like this really 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 thick card it didn't seem to used to have a problem but yeah it seems to have got got a problem lately so let me just put my glasses on now I'm just going to cut out a few of these frames like that okay so we just cut out a few to play with now obviously one or two of these frames have already got images in them for instance that one um so you know of course i'm not going to bother not going to bother with the ones that have already got the images just going to take the ones that haven't okay and yeah yeah, I just thought these would make very quick and easy, um, you know, pieces for your junk journals, to be honest. So they're going to come together in like no time at all, which, you know, that's just how I like it is, you know, quick and easy things. Nobody wants to be, you know, spending ages faffing around, do we? So, um, yeah, if you can make kind of, you know, a bunch of things pretty quickly, then, you know, so much the better. Okay, right. Let's get rid of these bits. Okay. And I had already cut out one or two, so they're here as well. So, yeah, we've got quite a few there to play with. So, I probably, I think, want these um, landscape rather than portrait. But again, you know, once we've cut the butterflies out, we'll kind of get a better feel. Now, I've cut these... Uh, printed these like I say two to a page because obviously I want them to be smaller so that they're going to fit nicely inside inside the frames so let's just take this one for example and yeah I'm just going to cut out a couple of different ones because I don't know yet obviously which ones are going to be you know size wise which are going to be best so but obviously the, um, you know, this page was printed normal, full size. So the butterflies were printed at, you know, two to a page, like I say. So if you have these couple of different kits and you want to do this, then you want to print the, the page with the frames, normal size, you know, so just one to a page um, as you would normally print it. And then you want to print your butterflies two to a page. So, yeah, just go around. I probably should have cut these bits first, but, you know, like with all these things, I just, I always want to kind of show every process or every stage because, you know, I know that some people can't kind of, um, you know, sort of picture how it looked previously sort of thing. So, you know, some people really appreciate being able to see the whole thing. I do realise that not everybody does and, you know, possibly it is very boring for those people who don't like to see the whole thing. So, you know, I apologise for those people who don't like to see the whole thing. Um, but it's always a bit of a tough call between those who do like to see the whole thing and those who don't. So, um, yeah, I just kind of think, well, you know, probably better off having the whole thing viewable. And then people can always skip what they don't want to watch rather than miss out bits and then obviously you know people can't then regain the bits that aren't there 
if that makes sense. So yeah, I mean, actually in hindsight, these are probably a little bit too small. Um, but these ones are, are quite a good size. So yeah, I mean, you might want to play around. Um, I mean, the quick and easy way to kind of down and upsize your prints is obviously like two to a page, four to a page, things like that, you know. Um, however, there is also an alternative where you can scale your printing. So it's like, I think, percentages. Um, so like, you know, 50%, I mean, obviously that would be the equivalent of really two to a page, but, you know, you could do it, say, 75%. Um, uh, Oh, I'm not sure, to be honest, it might be 25%, which is why I'm not so keen on doing the percentages, because I'm never sure whether it's taking off taking off the 75 or making it 75% of the size. I know this is probably not really making a lot of sense. It's not making a lot of sense to me. Um, but yeah, um, you know, it's just worth playing around. And different printers might have different settings. So if I tell you you know, oh, if you set at 75%, it means it's printing 75% size. It might be on your printer, it's perhaps taken off 75%. So, i.e. the size you would end up with would actually be 25%. So, you know, you need to kind of like obviously adjust your printer for your, your settings. So, yeah, I don't want to kind of tell you things that are not really going to fit your, your printer. So, um you know, because printers are obviously all different. But how gorgeous does that look? And then I thought we could just gild the edge of the frame. So just take my, my little brown paint stick, like that. Okay. And then we can just put that in there. Now I'm just going to, again, just use my hot glue, which of course is complete and utter overkill for this it does not need does not need paint stick but you know I'm just going to be using just using my paint stick uh glue stick glue hot glue gun <laughs> oh can you tell it's like early in the morning it's not that early to be honest I'm not quite sure why I'm why I'm making such a hash of talking um yeah it's probably not really that early at all I mean, it's, um, yep, yeah, I've had my breakfast, well, my smoothie anyway, and yeah, I've got no excuse, I'm afraid, to, um, making such a hash of talking. Right, so this small one, I'm wondering, actually, we could possibly have two in there. So I'm just going to take these two. I mean, you don't have to have them the same colours. I'm just going to try it. Oops, just try it the same colours first. So, okay. Okie dokie. Okay. I'll just cut this bit here. Okay, right. So then you could have obviously the two butterflies. Like I say, I mean, you wouldn't have to have them the same colour. Um, it's just that obviously because you know, I get a bit obsessed with the whole matchy matchy thing. Um, you know, it's kind of quite nice to actually have the same colour from that, you know, that matching point of view. So, oops. Oh gosh. I mean, it's quite nice to have straight edges as well, wasn't it? But hey, messed up those edges. Right, okay. Just take my paint stick, my gold paint. I mean, you don't even have to go around every edge, if you see what I mean. So, you know, I've got just rough, rough bits of gold there. Just going to ink around my butterfly a little bit. Just, you know, again, in case I've mucked up the... Um, you know, the cutting, and it just disguises that. So yeah, I can just glue those now on there. So, okay. One. Oops, sorry, stuck on me now with the hot glue. Sorry about that. Okay, right, 
and this one. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I mean, how cool is that? And then, you know, this is then just a perfect little topper for a tag. It would be perfect as like, you know, like a bit of a sort of little cluster at the side of a page or something. You've got multiple different ways that you could use this. And, you know, I mean, how quick and easy are these? They're just so cool, aren't they? So that's kind of those two. Now, I also wondered whether we could do a little bit more than this and actually kind of like stiffen these. So now... What have I done with my cereal box that I had the other day? Okay, it's just behind me. Let me grab my cereal box in. Well, let me just tear down a portion anyway. Because I'm not bringing the whole, the whole cereal box. Okay. So, what I thought we could do here is glue on. So, let's do this one, for example. So, I'm going to glue this onto this cereal box. Okay, like that. Okay, and just press that down. Ooh. Right, okay. You know, you're just trying to get it really glued down right to the very edges here. So, like that. Okie dokie, and then let's cut this out. Okay, like that. And down on this one. Okay, like that. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is just go slightly around that edge with the gold. Again, I actually preferred it when it wasn't, you know, on every single edge. So I'm just going to kind of dab it in, you know, in places. Because I actually think that looked better than being, you know, gold everywhere. So like that. Oops. Oh, come on. Okay. And then you could get your... Um, heat embossing powder. So let me just pull in my clear. Oh, hang on a second. Pull in my clear embossing powder. Sorry, I've just now just now dropped everything down down the back. Right. Okay. okay sorry, I just had to pick everything up there. So I'm just grabbing my clear embossing powder. He says, and now as I've said that, I now can't see it anywhere. So, hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Right, I also had to then pull off one of these things from um, something else because I actually then was hunting around, couldn't find them anywhere. In the process, I seem to cover myself in pink from Lord only knows where. Right, okay, so I digress. Right, let's get back to the task in hand. So we're going to distress, uh, not distress, but you know, um, heat emboss the frame. Okay, so I'm just going to use my first mark ink pad. Now it has seen better days, it's got to be said, but that's fine. It will still, you know, it will still work perfectly fine. So yeah, let's just go all over that. Like that, okay. And then I just want to cover the whole thing Oops, with my clear embossing powder. Ooh, not quite like that. So I just put the embossing powder all over. And I probably have to do two, maybe three coats of this, so it's you know got a good, a good covering. Now I'm just going with clear embossing powder. I'm not using that, um, you know, like the vintage photo one or anything like that. I'm just going with the clear. So I'm just going to heat emboss this to the side of my desk because my heat tool doesn't quite really reach to the desk. Okie dokie. Yeah, I love using the. Um, embossing powder it just kind of brings it to another level I think 
And like I say, I mean, you don't have to use those distressing embossing powders, you know, the Ranger ones. Just the clear one is, you know, pretty good. Now, I have had in the past um, ultra thick embossing powder, and that is also pretty good. Now, I haven't looked at it for a very long time, so it might be that the price has come down now. But certainly when I bought it in the past, it was quite expensive um, compared to just the regular clear embossing powder. So my kind of thing there would be just buy any clear embossing powder and then just use a couple of coats and then that's going to do exactly the same thing as the thick. So, you know, if, if it's proving, you know, quite expensive, like I say, I haven't actually looked at that clear embossing powder for years and, you know, it might be that the price has actually come down now. But yeah, I did used to love it. So um, definitely I, I might have to have a look and see again what the price looks like on that now. Right, so I'm just going to quickly give this another blast. Okay, okay. And just by putting it onto the cereal box, it's just made it slightly thicker and more um, sturdy to hold and kind of, yeah, kind of sturdy to hold and, um, well, I guess more durable overall, but yeah, definitely kind of more tactile, I suppose, or more, you know, more sturdy when you're touching it. So you could probably see, I mean, that's my my two coats now so I mean they you know they look okay it could possibly do with the third coat here just because it's a little bit patchy in that corner but it will probably do I don't want to kind of just bore bore everyone to tears just keep heat embossing this so just pour that embossing powder back so I don't waste it and yeah pop that away okay get that off the table and then just going to get my butterfly now so, sorry about jogging the table there. So, just getting my butterfly. Okay. And we're just going to glue the butterfly onto the frame like that. So, now again, I'm just going to use my hot glue. And I, you know, I'm just going to leave my wings flapping because I think that's quite nice to do that. Okay, how gorgeous does that look? I just absolutely love how that looks. And then the bit that I actually had to tear off of another item because I actually couldn't find these. I have got some of these, but who knows where I've actually put them now. Um, and I can never remember the name of these. I feel like they could be called bales because um, I'm sure that people have told me in the past that they're called bales. I'm thinking put one of those on there and then you could just hang this on a page. So just going to hot glue this down. Now this is my only one without tearing more off of something else. So yeah, let's hope that I, let's hope I don't want more. I'm gonna have to order some more of these because, um, I mean, I didn't have a huge amount, but maybe I had about 10. Um, but yeah, I just can't imagine how long it would take me to actually find them. So. And who knows? Who knows what I've done with them? So I'm just going to order myself some more if I remember at the end of the video. So, because they're really handy to use and I, you know, I really like them for lots of different things. So that is that frame. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? And, you know, it's just taken it to another level from this. I mean, I think this is lovely, but this is, you know, lovelier still. Um, and obviously we've got the um, cereal box on the back. So, you know, you could use this then, I mean, like this one, you could use a standalone piece, you know, on a tag or or what have you, you know, as we say. This one, I'm thinking you could then put, you could use either like ball chain through here or, you know, chain maybe from an old necklace or something like that. You could use string. Now, this is baker's twine. It's not the right colour. This is lilac. But just to give you an idea... You could just loop that through and then you could just hang in this, have this hanging on a journal page or from a pocket. So let me just see if I've got, 
going to say, see if I've got a pocket laying around. I haven't really, but let's pretend. Let's pretend that this is a pocket. You could then just have this hanging from your pocket. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? I just love that. It's so pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely. And they come together in no time at all. I mean, again, this is another project, aside from the heat embossing, that you could just sit and do this in the evening while you're watching TV. So, you know, very, very quick and easy. Now, the other thing that I've bought along is... Bought some of my metal corners. Oh, it looks pretty monstrous on there. I thought this might be going to be a bit on the big side, but... It's actually even bigger than I expected, but never mind. So I'm thinking you could, could go around with the corners. I mean, like I say, they're actually pretty, ooh, pretty huge. Um, so, you know, I don't know whether that's kind of like overkill on there. Um, I've also got some bows and things, but yeah, I mean, that might just be ridiculous. But I've got here a book plate now I'm just going to take this down and I'm going to cut it off without the ends so this is one of my coloured book plates and again just ink that up a little bit <clears throat> and then I'm thinking we could have this in here Oops. and then surround it oh my gosh I actually pick that up Surround it with the metal. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about this. I'm struggling to uh, to pick these bits up. Could just surround it with the little notes. So let's do that. I'm going to just go around with the gold. I have to say the gold got quite lost in that embossing process. Um, you know, so we'll see how it how it goes. It might just get, you know, lost again. But put a little bit more on this time so like that now I'm going to just glue oops glue my notes word down okay so let me just pop that down on there like that okay And then I'm just going to heat emboss this again. Now, I'm just wondering whether I need to do this onto the, onto the cereal box. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't probably need it, but it did make it really super lovely to hold being on the cereal box. So based on that, I'm just going to, yeah, glue this one onto the cereal box as well. So, okay. Okie dokie, right, oops, pop that down, and again, just kind of like press it down and then be just, you know, spreading that glue out, probably wiping the gold paint off in the process, but hey, never mind, right, cut this out, like I say, I mean, the cereal box, it's kind of like an optional stage, but it just made it really, really lovely to you know to pick it up and and handle it so yeah although it is um you know just an optional step i think it does add you know does add to it now i've cut off a bit of that gold so i'm just going to add a little bit more just in one or two places or in fact just on the whole lot as the case may be okay right bring my embossing powder back in I mean, obviously you could use the glossy accents for this. You don't have to use the embossing powder. Um, just really depends what, you know, what methods you prefer. So I'm just going to use the embossing powder. Obviously the bonus of the embossing powder as opposed to the glossy accents, you don't have to wait for this to dry. You know, I love glossy accents, but you know, you do have to wait quite a while for it to dry, which, you know, is a little bit of a nuisance if you're wanting to get things done, you know, quicker rather than being patient, which patience is not my strong point. Okay. Okay, right. let's just pull that back in. 
Okay, right, I'm just going to quickly heat emboss this to the side again. Okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe doing some crafting, doing some nice projects. I'd love to hear what you're working on. It's so great if we all share kind of what we're doing. Because then if ever you're kind of lacking in mojo or wondering what to do, if we've all shared, you know, shared our projects, then, you know, it's so great to be able to read through comments and maybe get some inspiration for, you know, ideas or something to do. And sometimes, you know, you might read the, read the comments and it will spark inspiration, not for the same project, but for something slightly different, but just the inspiration has sprung from, you know, what it is that you've shared. So yeah, do, do share below what you're, what you're working on. Cause I just think it's, you know, it's lovely that as part of our, you know, community here that we just can share like that. It's so, um, you know, so inspiring, I think. So, right, again, just take that off. Quickly get rid of that into there. Okay, right. Just quickly heat emboss this one last time. And actually that um, ultra thick embossing powder, I, if I recall, I mean, like I say, it's some time since I've bought it, but I feel like actually I did still have to do the two coats. I don't think it was like a one coat thing it might it might have been but you know I remember sort of perhaps still having to do a couple of coats so you know this is probably just as good really unless of course the cost is not really any different in which case perhaps the thick is better or you know that maybe there's not a lot of difference in the price so okay right Let's put the lid on my embossing powder before I spill that everywhere. That's quite likely to happen with me. Okay. So, again, if you can just see, I mean, that just adds like an extra bit, doesn't it? An extra kind of dimension to that. And then we're just going to take our corners and glue these down. Like I say, these might be going to be, you know, way, 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 way too big on here. But I'm hoping that they're still going to look nice, you know, even though they are actually pretty big. Um, you know, I think they're still going to look good. Hopefully, anyway. So, that one. Okay. Sorry, just picking out any of the hot glue that had kind of seeped out. And then I'm just going to put this one on this edge. Okay. Like that. Oh, sorry, I'm just dropping my hot glue gun everywhere now. Oh dear. Okay, I did kind of make a bit of a mess here, but it's okay. So there's that one. And again, you know, isn't that just so, so gorgeous? I just love how that looks. And you know, you can probably see for yourselves. I mean, I actually had come along just wanting to do the butterflies, but it's one of those projects that actually, you know, as you're doing them, you're going to then just come up with all these other brilliant ideas that you can be doing. And you know, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Is kind of coming up with different, um, you know, exciting things to be doing. Just gonna go around again with that gold. I don't know whether, I don't know how that's going to kind of go. But yeah, just see if I can get some onto that, that metal as well. Okay. Yeah, I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Love it, absolutely love it. So that's that one. Now, let's do one more with the butterfly. So, I mean, so far we've done these ones here. Do one more with the butterfly and I'm just thinking kind of like maybe have a bow or something at the top as well. Now I also have got these which I mean I dug this out because you know I couldn't find those little bale things. Um, so I'm thinking you could maybe have something like this. I don't know really whether this is going to be ideal but 
I, I don't know really what I bought these for now I'm you know now I look back on it because actually they're probably not you know not ideal for what I thought that I was going to be using them um but yeah I've had them for ages and I've got them I think from Amazon I couldn't even tell you what they actually came up as I mean they're like jewelry um charms but very unhelpfully the little clasp thing is actually open so I mean I guess you know you have to clamp that closed anyone who's <laughs> Who's a bit more au okay with these things let me know below what you know what's the purpose there is it that you just clamp them closed you know it seemed like a strange thing that they actually come sort of open but yeah I mean I'm probably missing the point a bit but so if we were to have that there we could probably have this on the corner if that makes sense so I'm going to just close this up I think with my my little pliery things okay so I'm just gonna squish it in with these oh gosh I hope this is going to work right so I'm going to glue this on I think first so again just gonna go around the edge with a bit of the gold like that. now I'm not putting this one on the um, cereal box I'm just kind of just going in with this one so let's just get rid of a bit of that gold that still is you know a bit blobby I could do with a new, new paint stick but and then I'm just going to take this oops right I'm going to take this and I'm going to hot glue this on and because it's quite big I actually think this looks better on the corner weirdly enough so just putting it onto that corner like that okay and then I'm going to properly close this little thingy bob there okay so that's like properly properly enclosed now and then we can put the butterfly down just on there so please excuse the backs of the butterflies see that's where I've been printing other things okay like that so I mean how pretty does that look so you know you really can do lots and lots of different looking things with these um, you know you could also add little charms and things I bought sort of charms and things like that along um, you know you really could kind of yeah just add a lot of different bits and pieces to these they're really versatile and really um, yeah just kind of quick and fun to do I mean I'm even thinking whether this is going to work actually this is probably too big and now I just suddenly thought I'm not sure why I've even tried to cut this down I should have just got one of my words in but you could even cut a word out and actually put a word like along the bottom of your frame so let's just do this okay not that one because of course that's not really the right color but for instance here like that and then hmm. let's just see what other butterfly I've got uh, oh I don't know now let's have a quick look see what else um, hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go in with one of those anyway. So, yeah, let's just take this one. Okay. Just cut this down. Okay, take. I haven't been to the gym this morning. Um, I did a bit of a workout at home. But, you know, not for very long. So, yeah, I've got my, my gym clothes on and I'm going to go to the gym um, sort of round about lunchtime. So, uh, yeah, not for long. Just going to spend, like, I don't know, half an hour there and just do a bit of a workout. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. Right, just quickly ink this up a bit. <clears throat> like that, okay. 
Okie dokie. Oops. Like that. And then I'm going to just gold around the edge of this now. Oops. Like that. Okay, and then just going to glue this down straight in that middle bit. Just, oops, just going along there. You know, like pictures in, um, you know, art galleries and things, and they have those little kind of metal plates at the bottom. I'm hoping it's, you know, sort of resembling one of those a little bit. So, yeah, that was kind of the plan of that. I'm not sure whether it does sure whether it does really resemble that but that was the plan so yeah I really hope that you like them and I mean they're just like I say one of those really very very quick and fun things to do and you know they just like I say take no time at all you know very very fun to make and you know you could just sit and just you know make a whole bunch of these in the evening and yeah it would be kind of like a good nice activity whilst you're watching tv and um yeah then you'd have a whole bunch of things ready to go so i hope that you like them and um yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time thanks then bye <laughs>